What's up guys, it's Robson Hayashida here and today we are coming back with the series Trading Like a Trader. Thank you very much for you guys for always following me on my YouTube channel and I'm really sorry that I was absent for a few weeks. I was I went back to Brazil. Uh, I was a few weeks ago, I was in Japan as well. I was in Japan for, for like uh, five, no it was like five, six days in Japan and 18 days in Brazil. I just came back like a few days ago and let's talk about the trades that I took today. Uh, here just posted one trade, it was like uh, 36 minutes ago on Forex Factory. You can follow the description of the trade here with the explanation. Uh, let's take a look at it. If you are familiar with PVSRA, you know that here on the, we have a, the half level. Uh, on, this is the green line, okay, expressed by this green line. It was on the 109.500, oh, the half level. We use CPA trying to break it here. It failed to break the half level. Here, even they didn't get close to it. Here, PA failed to break the half level again and failed one more time here. Here we broke the half level, but the volume bars were so tiny that we don't take these into consideration when entering the trade. If you were already in the trade, that would be another story, but if you were not in the trade, you wouldn't take this into consideration when uh, taking the trade. Of course, I'm talking about PVSRA. If you follow other strategies, then it might be another story. Here, uh, so once we got to this point and then PA failed to break the half level once again, but this time we had six huge candles with a notable volume. So we have six colored candles with notable volume. We failed to break the half level again for the one, two, three, fourth time now. And what happened here is that we also broke the dragon upwards. So once we broke the dragon upwards, I waited for a small retracement back to the dragon, entered the trade here and closed the trade when uh, price has reached the 233 EMA, which is uh, this yellow line, this yellow and a little bit thicker line than the others. So once PA has reached this level, we close the trade. Uh, here we are going, so let's take a look at the questions. Uh, I have a very nice question that was asked by Diogo. Diogo is one of my Brazilian viewers on my uh, Brazilian channel. So Diogo was like, hey, uh, Robson, I took a look at your trade, uh, your PVSRE trade. And uh, you entered after a series of candles that had notable volume. How come you didn't enter the trade here? Because here, if you look at the half level, the half level, we have the price failing to break the half level as well. So it's the same case as this one. And if you look at the volume, uh, the volume is much more notable than the others. You have uh, this huge green bar that's even bigger than all the previous bars here on the left. So you have uh, this huge green bar and you have two red bars on volume, no, so which indicate to you notable volume. And you have PA here, which failed to break the support. So how come you didn't buy here, somewhere here? How come you didn't buy? How come you bought it here? Yes. Okay. Diogo, uh, first of all, thank you for your question. And let me explain to you. Uh, not only uh, here, when you look at this trade, you have to see that the dragon, the inclination of the dragon is like this, while here the dragon is flat. Another thing is that we failed to break the dragon. So this bearish trend is going to continue. Like I have no evidence, no reasoning behind, like no clues telling me that this 
dragon, this bearish trend of the dragon is going to collapse here, which is totally different from here because here, first of all, the dragon is flat and the green candle here has completely broken the dragon upwards. So when this green candle has closed, the dragon was already broken, which is different from here. You have this huge area that the green candle, of course, failed to break the dragon. Okay, it failed. It, cl it has clearly failed to break the dragon, Diogo. Okay, so here, when you look at this, I already broke the dragon. My, and, and my dragon, the inclination of the dragon was flat, which is different from this inclination. And I have one more clue, which is the uh, PA has failed to break the support. So I have three things indicating to me that this would be a nice CT, like a nice counter, counter trade on M15. Is that clear to you guys? Uh, if you have any questions about this trade or any other trades, please uh, write your comment on the comment section below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks. Bye.